Hey guys, welcome to <coughs> excuse me, welcome to Forza Horizon Five. Um, what I thought I'd do today is a bit of drift, drift school for non-drifters. I am not a drift racer, but I found this tune for this Nissan uh, to be pretty good for drifting. In fact, I've managed to go through and three-star all of the drift zones using this drift build so uh, if I go into my tunings and upgrades my setups I'm using this one it's called Godlike Drifting uh, from Ken Blocks Song great name uh, and yeah it drifts really well I couldn't pull up the share code for you for some reason I couldn't find it on here but this is the tune it it just makes drifting really easy so if you're not a drifter and you want to get out there and earn some drift points and knock out those drift zones this is the car to use I've got to turn the radio off I forgot to put it in stream mode this is the car to use uh, with this tune it just drifts so easy it's so direction Direction change is good. If you want to get the nose in, you can turn in more, you can turn out more. It is just about balancing the throttle. So I've watched I've watched a few people talk about how to drift. And they've said to use no oh, is it? Difficulty. To Keep your turn traction control stability off, but to go to manual shifting. Now I struggle with manual shifting. I'm playing on a controller. I just get myself all confused trying to do enough things as it is. So I'm going to show you how to drift with automatic drift settings. So just for those of you who want to get out there, get those drift schools. You're not really worried about. Um, you're not really worried about the. Uh, the whole. Um, being a drifter drifter thing so this tune for this car makes it really easy to slide around I think I'm just, it is about you've got to feather the throttle I'm doing 130 miles an hour over Christopher Hill keeping this nice long drift going I'm able to turn I managed to mess that up but Drift under the bridge, why not? So, let me drop what I've learned about drifting on you. Okay, number one, don't fly into the corners. If you're going fast and just pop the handbrake, then yes, you'll get the car sideways, but you're more likely to lose control. Come out of the corner backwards like this. Okay? If you do, remember, don't drive forwards. Just turn, let the car roll backwards through the corner. Otherwise, you lose a drift zone score. If you try and drive the wrong way down the strip, the opposite way to the way you're going, you'll lose it. Now, this car isn't really capable of doing that particularly. If you look at those rear wheels, look at those angles. The toe out, the heels are in, they're lent over. They've got some wicked camber on those back wheels there. So... Come into the corner at a nice pace, then pull it in and then counter steer. But you've got to try and balance that throttle and that steer and try and keep it on the tarmac, which isn't too hard to do with a bit of practice. And then with this car, I can, I'm kind of about half throttle. If I want the nose to go into the corner, I can turn in more to get more angle. If I want it to come out, I just counter steer out the other way. Okay, so you want to be about third to half throttle when you're in the drift. Okay, and remind that I'm doing this on a manual cut on an automatic. So we can get around this roundabout. So 
drive in, give it some welly on the way in, I ran out of speed. So no, I'm just turning in, turning in, turning out, in, it's like doing the hokey cokey, in to turn the car in, out to drift the car out. If I'm going too fast, we just want to get out of here. I'm just, if I flick from here, it's hard to drift this way. Can't really see the road. Alright, so I'm just turning that steering wheel in, counter steer, in to keep it going that way, counter steer out to stop the back end coming around. So you want to turn in, brings the back end around, brings you closer, steer out of the roundabout. I'm just trying to steer in now. You steer out of the roundabout, just keeps you going round. So, back end out, just trying to keep that back end in control. Way too much speed there. See, this roundabout is a good place to practice. There are a couple of other roundabouts as well. Just try and drift and just get the feel of the car sliding around. Get point. So, I'm just not really. Hitting it hard, just giving it a little tap so it comes out a little, comes in a little bit. Just need to get that back front end back in again. Just trying to just keep that front end balanced. This car has a wicked set of uh, skill perks to it. So just trying to keep this drift going as long as I can. Th balance the throttle. That's the hardest thing, you want to go in full, your brain wants you to go in full speed, you really don't need to do that. It's just all about balance. So there you go. If you want to drift, get yourself the Nissan uh, Drift Car. I'll get in and show you which car it is. So get yourself the 64 Nissan 370Z Formula Drift car. Bang on the tune. Uh, tune. I can't tune it because I'm in. Because I'm in here, but bang on that tune I showed you at the start of the video. And you'll soon be drifting like a king. Unlike this guy in the BMW here next to me. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Um, hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a, give us a shout below. Um, if there's anything else you want me to show you, then, again, just give us a go. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.